Hi, welcome to our next tutorial. What we're going to do for this one is show you how you can have your characters change behavior in the middle of the game using the pages in programming. And I'll show you what I mean by pages in a minute. In particular, what we're going to do is the fish, which have just been wandering back and forth on the path, we're going to make them more aggressive, where after 10 seconds, they're going to come running straight at the user, the player character. So, starting where we left off, go to program the fish, and what we want to do here is say, using the timer that we've used before, timer, 10 seconds, now we're going to use this new verb called switch, so switch to page 2. Now what is page 2, you might ask? Now if you notice, up here we have this little page with the icon on it, and the shoulder buttons images. Well if you click on those, you can switch to a new programming page. And what happens is, in this case, when it gets down to 10 seconds, it'll switch to page 2, and then page 2 will be the active page of code that is running every frame. This way you can have one behavior at the beginning, and then you can switch to another behavior. And you have up to 12 different pages, so you can have really complex behavior. So what do we want to do in page 2? Well, we want to, to keep all of this information about keeping track of the number of fish using the white score and giving the user points um, when he shoots a fish. So I'm just going to do a bit of a shortcut here. I move the cursor up to the top and press delete. That does a full cut of the whole page. Press insert again, that puts it back. Now when I switch to page two, I can just press insert and it pastes in a copy of what we just did. So let's see what we need to modify now. Now I want to say, well, I want to go chase after the kodu verb, I mean the C sensor to um, sense something. The problem we've had with that is that sometimes you're facing away. Well, instead of using C, we can use here, because here you can hear things behind you, whereas you can't see things behind you. So we're going to say if we see the kodu, then move toward him. So this is going to start getting aggressively at him. Okay, we don't need this row anymore, so we'll go ahead and delete that. And what we want, though, is that if we actually get to the kodu and bump into him, that's game over. So we'll say bump kodu game ends. Okay, so let me go back to page one and explain what's going to happen. We're going to move back and forth on the path. We're going to keep track of the score properly if he gets shot. And after 10 seconds, if he's still alive, we're going to switch to page two which is also going to keep track of the score properly if he gets shot, but he's going to be chasing after the Kodu, and if he actually gets to the Kodu, game over. So let's exit out of that, and run the game and see how this works. Thank you. 